This is it, folks. You're in a real house of royalty. Show of hands, who here has also visited Peach's castle in the Mushroom Kingdom? Oh, that's a lot of you. You're all real professional tourists. Welcome to Bowser's Castle, home of the Royal Koopa Clan, seat of the king, and the center of Koopadom worldwide. Please be sure to wipe your feet on the way in and anoint yourself in the supplied chrism by the front doors. Bowser's Castle is every bit as large as you would expect from a kingdom of such plentiful resources. Absolutely dwarfing the already impressive city below, the castle can best be described as multiple castles built on top of each other. Each major section of the building has a different design motif in architectural style, progressing from vintage to modern as one ascends within. Due to the unfathomable scope of the castle's interior, we will be dividing up this portion of the tour into three sections. The first section begins as soon as one enters Bowser's castle, as visitors are greeted by a great hall given a dash of accent from a large crimson carpet at the center. Leading up from the ground level is a glamorous staircase offering passage to both the basement as well as to the secondary great hall in the rear. Yes, there are two great halls. No expense was spared in the build of the castle. There's also normally a lift leading to a door to the upper chambers, but the lift appears to have been temporarily removed. Likely more security concerns. The secondary great hall is an exact mirror replica of the primary hall, so not much explanation is necessary. Team Mario is quickly hailed by a trio of Magic Koopas after neglecting to wipe their feet on the doormat. An altercation ensues, but our heroes are ultimately allowed progress. Within the two upper chambers above the halls, and the two lower chambers in the basements below, can be found a Koopaling in each. Specifically, Iggy, Larry, Lemmy, and Morton Koopa Jr. When not busy doing their daily duties, the Koopalings are generally considered to be quite cordial to talk to. For best results, avoid topics surrounding their parentage. That said, Lemmy was quoted as shouting, quote, suck my balls to the gang during their meeting. Lemmy could not be reached for a comment on the vulgarity. Koopalings dispatched, Mario and crew make their way beyond the secondary Great Hall and enter an attached tower which they must climb to reach the chamber leading to the second major section of Bowser's castle. Guarding the only door forward and positioned on another lava bridge is once more the Magic Koopa trio from before, this time juiced up with some serious Mega Mushroom sauce. Not to be dissuaded by the wizard's girth, Mario and gang valiantly break through the enemy formation. Once all on the other side, Mario again takes a nearby replica castle axe and severs the ties holding the lava bridge high above a pit leading down to the basement boils below. That's half of the Koopalings. The rest must be holed up deeper. You keep cutting off our paths back out of here, Mario. What gives? Bowser can summon his entire army from far and wide to flood this castle right now. We're not giving him a chance to catch up. Ah, uh, we can take him. No, I agree with Mario. Let's use this time to take a break. No time to rest, Louie. If they're not coming at us from the back, they'll definitely be coming at us from the front. 